What's up everyone? Welcome back to Deco Creek TV. My name's Jeff and on today's video, uh, we just wanted to run over different diamond segments for uh, that you're gonna use for grinding concrete. And this can be a little bit confusing. There's a lot of different shapes and even you know ones of the same shape, there might be a few different options within that. So stay tuned as you're gonna learn all about it. The three things that we're, that we're focusing on is the shape of the diamond, uh, the grit, and then the bond of the tool itself. And so you can see, you know, we got a few different options uh, laying out on the floor here. You can see this is a floor that, that we've uh, actually in the middle of grinding and, you know, this is a really old floor. We're removing paint uh, from this floor. And so, um, you know, it's really just nice to have a lot of different things at our disposal. So going down the line here, um, and again, uh, just starting with shape, you can see that we have what's called an aero diamond here. And, uh, you know, these, uh, obviously, this is made for a little bit smaller unit, this here, this Ditec 8-inch machine. And this is really all the way on the most aggressive side of things uh, for a, a diamond that, that we have in the row here. You know, a PCD diamond uh, segment might be, you know, a little bit more on the aggressive side, but, it, but just sticking to just normal uh, diamond segments, Aero segment is good because it's gonna go really fast. And a part of the reasons for that is you can see the way this is shaped, uh, you know, these are all sharp edges right here and we have just a lot of cutting surface, sharp cutting surface hitting the concrete. Aero segments are also great because the way it's shaped here in this little um, V, you can even see the ones we have on our machine right here that we've been running, um, removing the paint, you know, it just, it, again, you know, these ones are cleaned off a little bit now, but the the buildup hangs there instead of up here like it would on something that's not shaped that way so aero segments are great uh, just for fast uh, prep removing the surface uh, stripping paint uh, even certain coatings uh, they work great just pretty much the go-to diamond for if you're going to just prep for epoxy you don't really care you know what the concrete looks like you're just trying to get that surface going open up the port get epoxy to grab to it so um, usually going to be the fastest option right there now in the middle here we have a bar segment and, you know, again, we do have straight lines here, so we do have some sharper edges, but you can see that the segments are turned, you know, at a little bit different orientation there. And what this is going to do is, um, you know, it's going to create a little bit nicer product than those arrows did. Uh, it's still going to be faster than what we're going to talk about next, kind of in the middle. Um, honestly, this is one that I don't really use that much, uh, but it's nice to have at your disposal should you need it. Now we have uh, what is uh, something that's in a round shape, and this is what I would call a button diamond. And you can see now all our edges are round. We don't have any straight lines. We don't have the, those sharp corners anymore. So this diamond is definitely not gonna cut as fast. It's gonna be a lot slower, but it's gonna give us a nicer product in the end. And you know, if you were doing you know, some sort of a grind and die system, you know, it would be a really good idea to use the buttons in that case. We don't end up with these big scratches. You can see in this floor right here that we've been hitting with these arrows, it's really scratching it deeply, uh, but we don't care about that because we're going to put epoxy on this. We're going to throw chips into it. Doesn't matter. So buttons will always give you the nicest end product. Uh, they're just going to be generally the slowest. Now, these are little guys over here, a little bit more specialty. Uh, this would be a coating stripper. And so this would be, you know, great for, um, you know, removing an existing epoxy coating or really thick paint. And again, a lot of times the arrows can remove a, a thinner paint, um, but this one would be a really good one to go to. This happens to be a, a 30 grip and these things do go really, really fast as far as removing coatings. Uh, these guys here, you can see this is um, what's called a pentabead diamond. Um, these little, each little post has, uh, has five sides to it. Now, the next thing uh, that we want to talk about here would be grit. And so, you know, just like sandpaper or anything else you want to equate this to, um, these things are going to have a number with them that, that, that relate to grit. And, you know, it's the same as anything. The lower the grit, the more aggressive, the higher the grit, uh, the, the smoother it's going to be in the end. And again, this is where you just really need to think back to or think to what you're going to do your end product. Because, again, if I'm putting epoxy on here, man, I do not need to worry about smoothing this out. I want something that, that's a really low grit. You can see this is a 16, so this is going to go really nice and fast for me. And, and I don't care about the rest after that. So grit. Pretty self-explanatory, um, just you know, match it with your situation. If you need to make it a little bit smoother, you're gonna have to keep going up. Now, the last thing uh, that we need to talk about here when it comes to this sort of diamond segment would be the bond of the diamond. And you're gonna see uh, generally three options, hard, medium, and soft. And it's, it is important to somewhat match the bond of that diamond tooling to the floor that you're grinding. And really what this is referring to is 
The bond of the diamond really has nothing to do with the diamond that's in there itself, the thing that's actually cutting into the concrete. What it means is it's the, the, the bond of the metal that's encapsulating the diamonds. And so if you have a soft bond metal diamond tool, uh, that metal is gonna wear, wear away a lot faster and it's gonna be continuously exposing fresh diamonds. It's not gonna wanna glaze over as, as quick on a really hard floor. Um, again, uh, if you have a really hard bond diamond, that metal is not going to wear away nearly as fast. And so on a really soft floor, um, you know, where it's just chewing through that metal, um, you actually would want to switch to a hard bond diamond. And so this is where you have to kind of make things opposite as in hard floors. I want a soft bond diamond, a really soft floor. I'd be better off with, with something hard bond because it's just going to make my diamonds last longer. Now, I always recommend starting in the middle. This here is, is a medium bond. You can see this, this little button right here. It's a 60 grit medium. And, you know, if I was going to try to remove a little bit of paste to, to do some dye, I would love to start with that. You know, same as these arrows, um, I would love to start with a medium and then I can adjust from there. And this is where it's just nice to have a decent amount of things at your disposal here for if something's not working right, we can just go straight to the next one and uh, find that diamond that's working for us that day. Because every concrete floor is, is going to be a little bit different. So. Those are gonna be the main things you're gonna be using to just grind concrete. Now again, just to wrap things up, I know I've been said this a few times, is just how important it is to know what your end product needs to look like. Because if I was gonna run over uh, this entire floor now and clean it up with these buttons, man, I'm just really wasting my time. But if I was gonna use this to try to do a dying uh, seal system, it's not gonna look good at all. Even metallic epoxy, I might wanna smooth this up a little bit. So just keep all that stuff in mind. Um, I know it's tough in the beginning because, you know, you're going to have to buy a bunch of sets of diamonds. But once you develop an arsenal, just find the one that works. Well, guys, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like these videos, please let us know by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget about the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And it really helps our channel out. So from all of us here at Decocrete TV, we'll see you next time.